I found you! Oh, aren't you scary? <laughs> Are you sure you want to be doing that? Snarling and glaring at me? Well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you, if you were nice. <laughs> that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, but you aren't a human anymore, are you? You are a beast. <laughs> there, there. You, you be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. You look kind of surprised. <laughs> so... I bet you are wondering, where exactly are we? Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can't get over here, maybe I'll tell you. I guess you are not completely stupid after all. Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. If you need anything from me, just press up on the D-pad to give me a sign. So, are we clear? Good. Now come on, get moving. Hey guys, what's up? This is Chaos Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the previous episode, despite getting a Pona before our trip to Hyrule and delivering the gift to the royal family, uh, there were some unexpected visitors, and, uh, well, we had a really bad time. There is really no explanation as to what is happening right now, and uh, let's just hope we can actually find some information in this place. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Want to see something interesting? You are a beast. You should know what to do. Use your senses with left and right in the D-pad to poke around. I can't run any farther. That's far enough, right? I think I'll be safe here. I think. What was that noise? Don't, don't you... Don't anything come near me. Well, that is certainly interesting as there's a little... The girl thing said. 
That was a soldier spirit. Maybe it's someone from the other world. <laughs> there are lots of other spirits roaming around here. You know, hone your senses with your D-pad to see them. They might know things. Alright, let's just go ahead and do it. Now this part, uh, there are a couple of things that we could potentially grab. A couple of rupees, but eh, it's not really needed. Like for example, if you press, um, you know, Z and A to jump on the little chain, uh, you are going to be, um, well, pulling the thing and opening a gate in order to get a couple of rupees, but right now, it's not really too necessary. I doubt you're used to your new body yet, so I'll just tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. So this is this obviously means that uh, in order to oh wow I what I oh uh, come on I don't want to target him this thing okay I want to target the monster and uh, just like you know as if you were uh, to swing your sword um, you actually shake your nunchuck or your Wiimote, and that is going uh, to be how you attack. Now you want to come over here do the same thing that you did on the previous uh, cell, and uh, the water is going to start flowing. Now I'm not really going to go into uh, all of the things that we can actually find in here, because number one, there's really nothing, you know, there's not a lot of uh, interesting things over here. Just a couple of rupees as well as some um, uh, monsters that we can avoid. Despite me getting our, you know, my ass kicked already, you know, getting back to, uh, you know, just barely under two hearts. What are these black things? Where are they coming from? And, 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 and how do I get out of here? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Well, I guess she knows the way. This way, over here. I'll be waiting for you, but you will have to help yourself for a change. Yeah, I guess that's the deal. Alright, so in order to do this, uh, what we need to... Uh, okay, wow, I'm already... <laughs> Jeez, it, it, you know, this is so... Wow, I am just losing so much control. The placement of those things are so bad. Alright, let's just see what this dude has to say. Where are these black monsters? I've never seen anything like them. Well, he's just scared and not really anything too interesting, and I would really like some hearts for ass sake. So when you do this, the water is the water is going to drain, which is what we need to proceed. And I am actually not uh, too worried uh, worried about the hearts because there is something. I mean, these things are so so bad. You know, not badly placed, but they are very inconvenient for this part because there are a couple of mon uh, mo monsters. Um, Damn it! Uh, why can I get over here? Okay, there we go. So we enter this little hole, and it's going to lead us to this place where you can actually break these things with your uh, no hearts. Come on! Now, if we talk to this dude, please, I am but a low, uh, lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these evil creatures. Ah! All right. Now, if you see these uh, sparkly things, uh, if you get near them, as obviously wolf, uh, you're going to be able to dig. And uh, yes, exactly what I needed. And uh, it, they are going to give you either hearts or rupees, as you can see, uh, this is going to give us a 5 rupee. And uh, that is pretty much it, so let's just go ahead and turn off our senses, because we don't really need it anymore for right now. <laughs> ah, did the detour uh, tire you out, little wolf? By the way, are you honing your senses with a d-pad like you should? It looks like the spirits in here, they are all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? <laughs> You want, uh, you want out of here, right? Okay, we are off. Uh, hopefully. There's a big tower. Hmm, let's just go ahead and climb and, you know, see what we can do. Alright, we can jump a little bit farther as a wolf, so I don't think we are going to have trouble. Ah, what are you doing? Well, I guess trying to get out of here. I mean, a little help would be kind of good. Now there is a rupee, and again, I am kind of low on health. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. I, you know, I was actually not paying attention to the monsters before, but if we get back here, you will see that we can now talk to this girl. I guess I have to do everything for you. I'll guide you to sure footing. So target me with Z and follow me with A. So this is what we need to do while you are targeted. You know, uh, you just need to spam A. Uh, there's really no timing for it right now. Uh, but later on, there are going to be uh, parts in which uh, you actually need, uh, need to watch out for the timing. Uh, this rope, we don't really need to be worried, uh, you know, at all. Why are these things not dropping any hearts? Which is exactly what I need. Now let me see. There we go. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I, I almost fell. That would have been really, really bad. Uh, so you want to get on this uh, rope over here. And uh, there's really no balancing me you know, mechanic or anything. So there's really nothing to worry about. 
All right, let's target this, um, you know, little being again. And uh, we are almost to the top, or rather, the very top, actually. And it looks like it's a little bit too far away. So if we get over here, we just, uh... So, you know where we are yet. Uh, so, you know... <laughs> Damn it, I kind of messed the dialogue. Well, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. So let's just go ahead and target and avoid the enemies. And just get the hell out of here. So we are finally able to get out. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where it is? You still don't know. <laughs> look, there is someone I want you to I want to introduce to you. But I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. Well, this place is looking pretty dark indeed. Now Let's just go ahead and uh, talk to this spirit right here and see if we can find something interesting. So there are even spirits up here, huh? This whole spirit thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see those monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out on your fine senses with uh, D-pad? <laughs> What are these m m monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Ah, our poor Hyrule Castle. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Well, let's just try and get to that tower. Alright, so now we have an idea of where this place is. Very, very interesting. Now, so far, we don't really know anything, but hopefully that place is going to be having a lot of explanation for us. Now, let me see if we get over here. Look, just a little farther. Alright, but... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. That was a very, very bad um, enemy placement, I guess. Alright, so let's just go walk a little bit, you know, farther, farther ahead, and I just really, really don't want uh, these dudes to... Uh, I... I... Alright, finally made it, and I almost had the very first death of the Let's Play in that very own part. Like I said, I'm not really paying attention to the enemies, I mean, right now I just want to make it... Maybe not as fast as I can, but I surely want to get things going for this very first part of the game. Because this is actually very, you know, just... I'm not a huge fan of Zelda games, but when I played this, I was already hooked by this part of the game because of how... Uh, little information they gave you so far, and I was just very, very thrilled as to what we needed to do. Now, there is going to be a, a fairly... Um, uh, long cutscene. Right now it's going to take around uh, five minutes. So this time around I think we can have a shorter episode, well shorter in quotation marks, and uh, let's just have the very first cliffhanger of the game. If you guys have obviously not played the game, you don't know what ha what's happened, but if you do, you know exactly what is going to be happening right now. But as of right now, it is a very good time to say that if you guys have watched until now, if you enjoyed, a like and a comment would be really appreciated. So you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and until the next episode when we find more information about what happened to this presumably Hyrule castle, and, uh, well, hopefully who this girl is. I will see you then. Just come on, just come home safely.